I'm gonna try to do this diagonal task all in one trip. And of course, we have the twisted bow now, so I should be able to demolish the crap out of Prime. After bottoms, you're done with race two. Yeah, probably. Ooh, just hit a 72. That's probably the highest I've seen so far. But yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. So not sure if I've mentioned this already, but I think I'm only gonna use like dragon arrows at raids. So with all the amethyst ore that I mined from you know the uh, mining guild, I have like enough for like eighty thousand uh, arrows currently. So I'll just be using amethyst arrows for the uh, other like you know lower level uh, bosses. Oh wait, I don't want to kill it right now. So no, oh berserker ring. Okay. <laughs> Nice, so far I've only gotten rings from Rex in the three tasks that I, I've gotten recently. Wondering if I could get any of the uh, extra other rings. Let me see how much is left. 83 left, okay. Maybe. When this thing noodles, but... Alright, yeah. Oh, Sears ring, there we go. That's lit. I've gotten four rings so far in this task, that's cool. Yes. Oh shit, if I think about it, I could complete Lord of the Rings if I get an Archer's Ring. Alright, come on Lord of the Rings! Nope. I guess another time for the Lord of the Rings, but... Uh, was a really, really fun task. First time, you know, with the Twisted Bow here, and... It's just so nasty. How fast Prime just goes down, like, god damn, it's slimy, bro. And also, I forgot to pick up a, another Mud Bell stuff on the ground, so... Really not used to this yet, for sure. Well, actually, Twisted Bow is pretty good here, even at Vanguard. So I, I really didn't expect, expect it to be that versatile here, but it definitely is. Holy shit, well, easy then. 50% already, okay. I can blow pipe spec too. Oh my god. I'm about to kill the Mutadile boss in like 5 hits. Okay, make that 6 hits. Woo, that was lit. Alright, last raid. Yeah. 1400 raid, though. Damn, huh? Still going. Still going strong. But it's a nice little milestone. So, you probably don't see people use the Shiloh Furnace to do anything, but... Anyways, the reason why is because in order to use this furnace, you have to bring 20 GP and pay this uh, NPC here, Jonas, every single time you use the furnace. But actually they changed that recently. And this furnace now is actually a really good option to train, uh, specifically I would say your crafting if you were gonna make, you know, jewelry. I like this furnace more than the Estro furnace or the Nate not furnace just because usually there's nobody here and it is pretty close to the bank. So that means when I'm making like jewelry and stuff, it's really easy for me to do so because in Astral Furnace, there's usually always people in the furnace and it's really annoying to click your gold onto the furnace because you accidentally click on like, you know, uh, another person. So, oh nice, just got a leak clue scroll from Mining Amethyst. Wait, have I leveled? Oh, so close, but yeah, I haven't gotten one of these in a while, but yeah. That is good, looking forward to do this. Oh, wow. Oh man, that's crazy. 96 mining. I've spent two days here, like literally. Probably uh, just 10 plus hours working on my papers and freaking mining, yo. Oh my god. Alright, nice. 96 mining. Got 1 mil to 97. Um, well, I do have break coming up soon, but maybe I'll squeeze in another mining level, you know, by the time break starts. Wow, 503 XP drop, 77, Jesus. That's insane, dude. Oh my god. Jesus, am I gonna kill this guy in 4 hits? Yep, I, I just killed Mutadon in 4 hits. Yep, that just happened. 4 hits. Yo, 3-3-3-3! Oh my god, that's... That's finesse. Now, that's what you call finishing a raid with style, dude. That's That's interesting. Oh my god, yes, kill it, kill it. Wow, okay, never mind. That was easy. There we go, the Tipo definitely has proven itself to be super powerful, you know? So that was a super easy Fespula. Mm-hmm.
So I am starting to run low on skills again, and what a good way to go back, you know, with the twisted bow. I'm gonna try a, basically a range only setup at Zora for a bit while I'm getting some skills. It should be really fun. But yeah, let's try it out, man. I'm very excited. Not that accurate on the melee guy. Alright, well, did the first kill at Zora with the bow. I just did like 20 minutes with a T bow, like range only. Honestly, I don't like that method. It's uh, the kills are actually slower than the usual kills that I do with like uh, you know the blowpipe and trident setup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm definitely gonna go back to the regular setup, just cause I just want faster Zoro kills. You know, like the T bow is really chill kills and you don't switch, but the kills are slower and yeah, it's just not as fun. Oh, nice! Got a. A pretty easy PR, dude. Didn't even really try there, but that's nice. Uh, first time ever going a sub minute. But I believe, honestly, I can probably uh, bring the time down even more. Just need basically T bow RNG to go like crazy and hit like 40s all the time. Oh, wow. Not sure if I PR'd though, but it's been a while since I've uh, did an extended raid and got myself over 40k points. Ooh, dragon arrows. Nice. All right, all right. Basically, you know, we're gonna be uh, keeping up our supply <laughs> from raids, I guess. All right, guys. I have been at the Amethyst mine for too long. Look at this, guys. Let, let me show you how much I've mined. Look at this, 8,500 Amethyst. Do you know how many arrows I can make out of that? Let's see. Uh, that's about 120,000 Amethyst arrows. So I can leave now because honestly am i ever gonna use up all 120,000 amethyst arrows I, I don't know honestly that that's just so much so so for a very long time i've thought about afking brutal black dragons with a twisted bow but obviously i didn't have a twisted bow until a few days ago so that's just been a thought and something actually that never really happened and now that I do have a twisted bow, I really do want to go and AFK some uh, brutal black dragons. Look at this, I'll show you right now on the website dude, the drops are freaking crazy. So many alcohols and so many good resources, like look at this, 75 death runes common. Like, that's amazing. And there's some really good ammunition stuff too as well, like runite auras, noted, dragon dart tips, dragon arrow tips, lava scales. Some really good stuff, and uh, overall, because then the catacombs, you also get the catacomb bonuses, like the totems and the shards. So I've been messing around at Brutal Black Dragons today with the Twisted Bow, and I gotta say, it feels really, really good. They are definitely a pretty chill. Now, the real question was, is, is it AFK enough for me to, like, you know, go do some schoolwork? Well, unfortunately, it's not really AFK enough. Just because uh, it's very competitive a lot of times, so I found myself actually having to hop a lot, or else you just end up waiting for spawns, and yeah, it feels really unproductive. But would I come back here for like AFK when I just want to chill, watch some shows? Definitely, these guys are amazing. With the Twisted Bow, I just murked these guys. I mean, I can kill these guys faster than people with blowpipes on task. Like, that's just how crazy this Twisted Bow is. And uh, of course, even with the Twisted Bow, these guys still take, you know, a decent amount of time to kill. So you're definitely going to be seeing me at Brutal Black Dragons every uh, so often for now on, for sure. Also, it's like 75k range XP an hour. I mean, it doesn't really matter much to me because I'm already like 50 mil range XP. But just for people that are curious, you can get like 75k, maybe even 80k, just AFK like this. No uh, prayer boost, just range potions at max range and of course you know best gear I want to go back to the amethyst real quick so I do plan on turning off the uh, amethyst eventually into arrows and just turning off these will grant me about 500,000 crafting experience there's 60 crafting experience a chisel so that is really amazing actually helps me with my 99 crafting goal so yeah with that done I'll be 300k to 98 and I just haven't had too much time to make jewelries because yeah, this week I've been too busy with homework and making jewelries unfortunately just isn't that AFK. So this is a decent enough AFK that I can probably get some homework done and get some nice XP. So 
Just in case that some of you guys weren't aware of this update from a while ago, they actually allow you to uh, create arrow shafts from different types of logs. The higher tier the log, the more arrow shafts you get. So you actually gives like 75. So this is amazing. It just means like making arrows is gonna be super easy, no problem. Nice and easy kill. Oh, nice holy elixir though, okay. I was afraid I wasn't gonna get anything in these two hours, but you know, got ourselves a nice collectible here. Hello? What the fuck, server? Ah, great. Yeah, the server is... Uh, what? Yo, that is so weird, dude. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, a drop! Alright, here we go, guys. I'll laugh my ass off. No, I don't want a T-Bow, man. I really don't, so... Oh, I was about to say, bro. We got a deck scroll. We good. Alright, so that puts me at 65 items, right? Honestly, I feel like I might have mistracked one item, so I could be at 65 or I could be at 64. But yeah, let's just say it was 65, and then I'm actually at the pet rate. So yeah, that's crazy. I pretty much have reached the average for every single item, even the pet. I also don't want to die to Fespila I, as well, you know? Oh damn, I think we can kill it. I'm just gonna... Should be okay. Got him. Easy. That was a really fast Vespila though. That was great. Abyssal Demons. Wow. 144 of these. You know what? I, I feel like actually doing this looks pretty fun. So I think I'll just go back to Sire. Just just once at least, you know, just to mess around with the Susabo. Guardians can wait a bit, I guess. So I haven't killed Sire in like probably over a year, but... I used to uh, do this strategy where I used the crystal bow to kill the respiratory system and yeah I think I want to share it again because as you can see it is really good especially for the ironman account if you want to save some scales and some ammunition like the crystal bow is an amazing weapon for the respiratory systems I can clear two of them easily you know before the boss wakes up sometimes I can even clear three so it's about the same speed you know with the blowpipe except yeah, less walking, less resources used. So if you want to mess around the crystal bowl, there is a place where it does shine, and that's here. Damn, this is going to be a super fast kill, dude. Oh yeah, it's already dead. Probably the fastest uh, sire kill so far, ever. That's the power, baby. Dragon Warhammer and T-Bow. Madness, too good. It's really nice to have a different outro for my videos, you know? Been that mother low mine, been that freaking amethyst mine for ages. And now I get to try some of the new AFKs. I was editing the video here and it's amazing. Got tons of, look at this. All from editing the video. Look at that. Mmm, feels good. But anyways, I want to clarify a few things because I've been getting asked a lot, you know, ever since I got the Twisted Bow. People are like, hey, what are you going to do now? I'm like... Well, I'm still doing raids because I still need to get the one last item, which is the Ancestral Bottoms. And I'm actually not sure if I'll be stopping raids there, but obviously we'll talk more about it when I actually get the Bottoms. And also for the other goals, I guess I just haven't been doing the other goals as much. Well, the thing is, you know, lack of time really. But yeah, I'm still looking for the Guardian Boots from the Gargo Boss and most of the boss tasks that I'm getting from Slayer. I just want to do them, you know, just to mess around with the Twisted Bow. The DK is mainly for fun and for Dag Bones. I'm doing a bit of Sire right now, just because, yeah, it's really fun with the Twisted Bow. But yeah, mainly doing Slayer right now, just looking for the uh, Guardian Boots. And of course, I'm still working on the skilling stuff. So I'm working on, you know, basically uh, 199 at a time. So hopefully I'll be able to get to 98 crafting soon. I'm trying, but time is pretty short right now, so can't get all of my goals you know in one video much at the same time so but anyways i'm gonna be wrapping up today's video here guys thank you guys so much for watching and if you are new to the series and you would like to stay up to date with shenanigans for this character feel free to subscribe to the channel that way you'll know exactly when the next video will come out if you check your sub box that is but yeah thank you guys so much for watching again and i'll see you guys soon with another uh, action-packed video take care